Hey, it's Brian from American and Urban Bagger Magazines, and today we're going to go over the issue of a soft brake, in which our problem today is that it's a failing master cylinder for the front. Um, so we just got our basic rebuild kit from Harley Davidson, and we're going to resolve that issue in about 10 minutes. <clears throat> so, first we're just going to start peel back throttle adjustment covers. Just gonna break them loose and draw them all the way down to release our tension. And you'll see why in a minute why we want to draw them all the way. Now that those are all the way down. To <clears throat> start to take off our switch housing screws. There's one on the top and then there's one on the bottom on the driver on the driver's side of the switch housing. Pop this up. And there you can see the ferrules inside. And that's just what connects our throttle cables to our actual throttle grip. You know, pull those out, take those ferrules off, and you're going to want to hang on to those. They're kind of easy to lose. Take the grip off, set it aside for now. Go. <clears throat> and we'll just keep that aside. Now we're just going to take off the clamp that holds the master cylinder on. And at this point, we can easily take off our master cylinder. Alright, now that we have the clamp off, we're going to turn a little bit. Grab our wrench and we're just going to loosen the banjo bolt. And you're going to want a few rags underneath this, just because you're going to lose some brake fluid. And just to secure it up real quick so we don't lose any fluid. Alright, now we're going to take the cover off. Set that aside. Let's see how old that fluid's getting. We're just going to take that and get rid of it. Do a quick clean. After I have it completely disassembled, I'll actually take it over to the parts washer <clears throat> and clean it out. And now we're going to flip it over. We're going to take off the little snap ring for the brake lever pin. Pop that out. Set it aside for now. And take our brake lever off. And 
now. Take the seal out. That'll bring the piston with it. All right. Now that we have the seal and the piston out, we will uh, just take the rest of the whole kit. Just kind of push it a couple times, and it'll ease it out. You'll just take that and set it aside. It's got some wear and tear. You can see in the rubber, it's just little nicks and stuff. But set that all aside. And now I'll just take this over the parts washer, clean it out real good. And when we come back, I'll take the brake cone and smooth out any rough edges in that bore. And then we can go for reassembly. All right, now that I've brought it over to the parts washer and I've cleaned out some of the corrosion that was inside the bore, um, I went through with a, a bore hone and after I had cleaned it with the parts washer, I went over with some water and some Dawn dish soap just to get all the chemicals out of there. Um, and then now that we have that clean, and you can see how much cleaner it got. So now that that's all washed out and dried, we can start to assemble the kit and with all the rubber parts with this kit you're going to want to coat it with a little dot five brake fluid before you install it we're going to take a little piston cup Put all of that as well. Just like that. And now, just take our spring that comes in the kit. And you're going to take that flat washer side, and that's going to go, when you assemble, it's going to go into the bore first. And it goes right in the end. Just give it a little light twist just to let it go in easily. There we And with this seal, you're going to make sure the flat side is towards the bore. Just like that. And as you push down on that piston, you're just going to slowly work that seal down. You're not going to want any to use any sharp objects on it. If you do use a blade, use the flat side. Just like that. Now, we can go ahead and take our brake lever, set that back on because we're getting ready to go back on the bike. Take our snap ring, make sure that it's not too used. This one's still in pretty good shape, so we're going to reuse it. And reinstall it onto our brake lever pin. <clears throat> now we can come over to the bike again. We'll actually just wait for the brake line for now. Cylinder up. 
put our clamp back on. Now we loosely install the screws so that we can adjust the switch housings into the position that they'll need. Once that's where I want it for now anyway, we're going to come over to the front of the brake pin or brake lever. We're going to just take a just a piece of cardboard or anything with a little thickness and you're going to want to separate that brake lever and put that right in between there and that will pull the brake lever away from your brake switch because if you do not do that you'll actually shear off your brake switch and have problems there and they are not fun to replace Once I got the switch housing adjusted right, just gonna lightly tighten the master cylinder clamp. Now I can come back. Put my throttle grip back in. Now we're going to get our ferrule into place. This one's a little tricky, just a small screwdriver will help you assist getting that cable into its channel. Just like that. I'll take our idle one. Come up. Curl that back in, into its position. Then you'll look like that. And now, turn our switch housing back. Now we can go in and put the screws in. As you're tightening, you're going to want to make sure that the face of your switch housings is the same as your other side. And do a final tighten on your master cylinder clamp. Alright, now you're safe to take out the little piece of cardboard and reinstall your banjo bolt. And you're going to want to install new crush washers on here. I'll just snug it down then you're actually going to want to torque it to the specification in your service manual. And now we are ready to fill and if you stay tuned until next week I'll show you how to bleed the rest of the system out and you're ready to ride.